Hi everyone. So before starting the video, a short disclaimer that the information on this video is made available for information and educational purpose only and this should not be used for any illegal or malicious activity. Yes, we are going to discuss very important tool in ethical hacking that is John the Ripper. John the Ripper is an open source password cracking tool. And this password cracking tool can be used for security auditing. For example, in an organization, if you want to if you want to verify that the users are really using a strong password, then you can use this John the Ripper to find out if we are able to break those passwords. Yeah. So in that case, we can see the security vulnerability in an organization. And sometimes if you forget the password, this can also be used for password recovery. So Job and John, the Ripper is free and open source software, but they also have a commercial product that, that is John the Ripper Pro. And uh, before starting, uh, before demonstrating this John the Ripper tool in Kali Linux machine, I want to just go through this brief idea about that, uh, about password saving. So when we enter password, or we, when we configure password in maybe some operating system or maybe in number bank web application so that password is not saved as it is for example if i save one two three four five six as a password that will not be saved as it is actually what will happen here a transform function hash function will transform this password into a fixed length hash value so this is actually hash value here this function is actually a, sorry hash function and there is many function um, uh, we can take as an example like we have md5 with maybe 128 bit digest and char 256 with 256 digest so digest means when we give this as an input that at the output we will get that much long hash value so it means if we are using this password then this password will not be saved as it is but a hash value will be calculated by this hash function and then this hash value will be saved to make saving the password more secure in the systems so that nobody should be able to detect the password hash function transforms a string of characters into a fixed length value that actually represents the original strings okay so now to demonstrate the use of uh, john the ripper tool the password cracking tool which can crack the passwords of uh, maybe rar files uh, and a zip file and Windows, sorry, Windows and Kali Linux. So in this video, I'll be cracking the password available in Kali Linux machine. And for example, if we can see that maybe we have entered in some system and we have somehow got access to the password of that machine and now we can actually crack it. So I, for this demonstration, I'll be using this uh, locally available password here. So for this, I'm first going to launch this terminal and uh, in this terminal let's say first i want to show that where we have these user accounts and password so as i uh, so for this let's say i want to show this that these are two files where we have the user account information and we have also this uh, user password information so these are at say in password so let's say i want to show you this file first so maybe minimize it back and here in this window if i say maybe sudo nano and i want to show the contents of that file so the first one is password file where we have so a password of a Kali machine and you can see in this file we have the information about user accounts and you can see this is the Kali user account that is by default user name so you can see this username and passwords. Uh, their passwords are not there actually password in the shadow file, but you can see user account and some other information about that. And let's go back here. Uh, so this was the first file which I wanted to show you. And then maybe the second file which actually saves the hash values of those passwords that is shadow file. So I'm going to show you the contents of that file as well. You can see here we have and we have the information about the about the hash value here for example this was the user account which i'm using here and you can see the hash value here so the hash value actually 
gives us information and then I will maybe discuss the different fields of this in, in maybe some other video but you can see there is we have the hash value here and now using this hash value we are going to crack this password so again I need to sorry I'll close that one okay now we saw that there are two files in one of the files we have the user accounts and in the second file we have maybe our okay so this is this is here you can see in one of the file we have password second file we have the uh, sorry in one of the files we have the user account second of the file we have the user passwords and to crack these uh, uh, the password available in this uh, shadow file we have to follow certain uh, steps the first step is that we will be combining these two files in a in a single file so for that we have this command so in the, by, with help of this command that is unshadow and unshadow will actually combine these two files in a single file and that file can be given any name for example for this demonstration i have given this the name of test crack so this is password file this is shadow file and using unshadow command we are going to combine them so maybe if I just copy and paste the same command here in my Kali Linux terminal so maybe copy it and go back here and I can paste this here and yes so two files and we press here you can see we are going to combine these two files and the file is test crack right so press enter and this command will ask us about the password after giving the root power password it has combined both of the files here and now again if you want to see the contents of this file you can again use the nano editor for example here and maybe I delete these rest of the entries and if I say sudo nano and show the contents of this file that's test crack you can see here the contents of test crack and here if I scroll down you can see this is the Kali user account and then this also has given the hash value for that so now you can see we have uh, we have this file maybe get out of this file with control X and then once we have combined them we will have again the next step so after combining them we just have to run this command that is John and then the file where we have our uh, hash values which we want to crack and then we also specify the format of the hash and so what function was used to calculate hash value so for this maybe just john and the format and format script i'm going to also specify the format okay so copy this maybe file oh sorry copy this command here and then paste here so that simple john test crack this is the file i created in that file i have the hash values and the format grid press enter and now this has actually cracked our password so for Kali machine it says the password is Kali and for Kali Linux these days the password by default password is Kali so this is how we actually crack password and then after this uh, how how does it cracks these values actually this uses a password list by default the word list is there and this uses that word list to um, uh, to calculate maybe hash values and then compare the help hash values is stored in this file and then if there's a match then it can show us as passwords and i can also show you this uh, this list as well which is actually used by this one so maybe if we just copy it and uh, we paste it here just we want to see that what we have so i'm going to use this nano editor again and paste this and when i press enter it can show us the password list as you can see kali linux has maintained a list of password in some file and it will be taking these these passwords these passwords and their hash values and then the hash value which are stored in that shadow file it will compare it and if and if there is a match it will show us and there are different modes in which this uh, and this john the ripper tool works maybe i'll discuss about different modes in some other video but you can see here we have a lot of uh, many passwords okay we get out of that 
and then after this uh, you see here it has created this password and if you want to see the passwords then we can also see those passwords which are saved in this uh, in this test crack file which we created so now it has test crack file contains the um, passwords which have been I mean which have been cracked I'm going to copy this command and go back here and just press enter so now this test crack password should have a password sorry show john password uh, test crack test crack and show sorry this was a mistake when copying and paste and now one password cracked you can see this gives the information about username and password okay so this was a mistake sorry for this okay so this was simple uh, demonstration how we can actually crack password of kali uh, in kali linux and for other types of passwords like for rar or zip we have other ways which maybe we'll be discussing in some other video and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video